When we think about aviation fuel, the first image that usually comes to mind is jet fuel, the kind that powers large commercial airliners soaring at 35,000 feet. But there's another type of fuel that's just as important to aviation, though it's far less talked about. It's called Avgas, short for aviation gasoline, and it plays a vital role in keeping thousands of smaller aircraft, vintage planes, and flight training fleets running around the world. Despite being overshadowed by its jet-powered cousin, Avgas is a fascinating and highly specialized fuel with a unique chemistry, strict production standards, and an interesting history that connects directly to the evolution of flight itself. Let's explore, right here, on History of Simple Things. So, what exactly is Avgas? In simple terms, Avgas is a high-octane gasoline designed specifically for piston engine aircraft, the kind of engines that work similarly to those found in cars, but are far more sensitive to performance, reliability, and consistency. Unlike jet fuel, which is essentially a type of kerosene used in turbine engines, Avgas is a refined gasoline-based fuel made to deliver power and stability in extreme conditions, from freezing altitudes to scorching desert runways. Its main job is to ensure that the engine runs smoothly without knocking, a damaging phenomenon that can destroy an aircraft engine mid-flight. That's why octane rating is everything in Avgas, and that's also what makes it very different from the gasoline we pump into cars. The most common type of Avgas today is called Avgas 100 L, where 100 refers to its octane rating and double L stands for low lead. But here's where things get a bit surprising. Despite the name low lead, it still contains a significant amount of tetrethyl lead, a toxic chemical additive that was phased out of automotive fuel decades ago. In the early days of aviation, Adding lead was the most effective way to boost octane and prevent engine knocking, which allowed aircraft to fly higher and farther with more powerful engines. Back then, leaded fuel wasn't seen as a major issue. But as we became more aware of environmental and health impacts, the world moved away from it. However, for aviation, finding a clean and reliable alternative has proven extremely challenging. Aircraft piston engines require consistent, detonation-resistant fuel that can't vary in composition. And so far, nothing has matched the performance of leaded avgas across all conditions. To understand why avgas is so specialized, it helps to look at what pilots and engineers demand from it. Unlike cars, aircraft engines must perform flawlessly for hours at high altitudes where air pressure drops and temperatures plummet. The fuel must remain stable, vaporize properly, and deliver consistent energy output to keep the propeller spinning efficiently. Even tiny variations in quality could lead to engine failure, which in the sky could mean disaster. That's why Avgas has such strict manufacturing and quality control standards. Every batch is tested for octane number, vapor pressure, density, and contamination. The aviation industry treats fuel purity like a matter of life and death because in a very real sense, it is. Avgas also has unique physical properties that make it distinct from car gasoline. It's typically dyed blue to help identify it easily. This color coding prevents confusion with jet fuel, which is usually clear or straw colored. This visual difference might seem minor, but in aviation, fueling errors can be catastrophic. Jet fuel in a piston engine plane can cause immediate engine failure, so ground crews and pilots double check the color before every flight. Avgas is also more volatile, meaning it evaporates more readily which helps in cold starts at high altitudes. However, that same volatility means it's more flammable and must be handled with great care. 
The use of avgas dates back to the early 20th century, during the golden age of flight. As aircraft engines became more powerful and capable, the need for higher octane fuels grew. During World War II, avgas played a crucial role in aviation dominance. Nations that could produce high-performance avgas had a strategic edge, allowing their aircraft to fly faster and climb higher. In fact, the development of 100-octane fuel gave Allied fighter planes a significant advantage in aerial combat. It was one of the unsung heroes of the war effort, invisible but absolutely vital. Today, Avgas remains the lifeblood of general aviation, which includes private planes, crop dusters, small air taxis, and training aircraft. There are still over 160,000 piston-engine aircraft in operation worldwide, and almost all of them rely on Avgas to take off. However, because of the environmental problems associated with LEED, the aviation industry has been working for decades to find a leaded fuel replacement. The U.S. Federal Aviation Administration and various fuel companies have been testing unleaded alternatives under the Piston Aviation Fuels Initiative. One promising candidate, G100UL, has recently gained approval for use in all piston engine aircraft. It's fully unleaded and claims to match the performance and reliability of Avgas 100LL. If it succeeds on a large scale, it could mark the end of leaded aviation fuel forever. So next time you look up and see a small propeller plane gliding across the sky, remember that it's likely running on Avgas, a highly engineered, precisely balanced fuel that's been powering flight for nearly a century. It's not as famous as jet fuel, but it's every bit as crucial to aviation. Avgas represents the intersection of chemistry, engineering, and history. And even as we move toward electric and unleaded technologies, its legacy will continue to shape how we think about flight. Avgas isn't just gasoline for planes, it's a story of human ingenuity of how scientists, engineers, and pilots work together to make flight reliable and accessible long before turbine engines and jets ruled the skies. It's a reminder that even something as ordinary sounding as fuel can carry with it a legacy of innovation, war, and exploration. And while its future may eventually phase out the lead that wants to find it, the spirit of Avgas, precision, reliability, and the pursuit of perfect performance will always remain a cornerstone of aviation history. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.